For my significance assessment, I researched the cultural heritage significance of the Roundhouse Prison in Fremantle. Fremantle is a historic town with the West End containing the highest amount of heritage listed buildings in the state of Western Australia. The Roundhouse was the first pu large public scale building of the Swan River Colony and therefore is the oldest public building in Western Australia. To keep costs low, this prison was um, uh, made of limestone quarried from the cliff on which it now stands. Um, it was designed by Henry Reveille. Uh, the civil engineer responsible for many of the earliest public buildings of the Swan River Colony and finished, and finished January 1831. The Swan River Colony had been set up as a free settlement unlike other colonies in West, um, Australia at the time. However, 12 shipments of men from the British Packhurst prison were sent to Western Australia to work as indentured labourers between the years of um, 1842 and 1853. Amongst all my reading, it was unclear whether they stayed at the Roundhouse, although it was very likely that they did. The prison was also used for a lockup for Aboriginal prisoners before being sent to Rottnest Island, and it continued this use after being used as a prison. When the first convict ships arrived in 1851, and with the completion of the Fremantle prison in um, 1857, the building was no, no longer used as a prison, but as a lockup for the police in association with the new um, with the new courthouses. After several rounds of will they, won't they, with demolition through the 1920s through to the 1950s, and after a few patch ups here and there, the building was eventually listed and opened um, heritage listed and opened up to the public in the 1980s. It was there to, um, it was then turned into a museum where the history of the building is now on show. My research into the roundhouse showed that the site strongly aligns with historical and um, aesthetic heritage. Um, heritage criteria. It has seen, um, seen a number of histor um, historic moments, many to do with crime and punishment. The prison held early indentured labours and was the site of the first European execution. Further, the Noongar leader Yagen was caught and held there um, before being spared from execution. Visually, the historic West End of Fremantle is characterised by its colonial architecture and the highest amount of heritage listed buildings um, high list of heritage list buildings. The roundhouse occupies Arthur Head and one of its main features is the sight line through the roundhouse down to High Street, um, emphasising the message of British law and order. Captain Irwin described the roundhouse as a handsome octagonal building of white cut stone. Others describe it as quaint but austere. The squat bare building, unadorned and windowless, um, squat bare building is unadorned and windowless, emphasising its aesthetic. Build, um, build of limestone, the prison is a 12-sided circular structure comprised of eight cells, quarters for the wardens and a punishment stocks. In the early years of settlement, the roundhouse was a visible symbol of British colonialisation. It is due to these aesthetic and historical factors that the so site's social significance is so strong. Being the oldest building in the state and overlooking the Indian Ocean, the site is a significant attraction for tourists, both international and local. The site is popular with educational groups and is regularly booked for events such as weddings. In fact, at the moment, the West End is, used for, um, is being used for a massive optical illusion um, as part of a festival, and it can only be seen in full when standing at the steps of the roundhouse. While there's been a significant amount of archaeological surveys undertaken along Bathers Beach to uncover the significant colonial um, to uncover significant colonial information, like remnants of the old sea wall and jetty, there's been little carried out at the Roundhouse. Therefore, this building provides the opportunity to learn more about 19th century incarceration and about the early lives of um, colonists. My plan um, to engage with relevant stakeholders is centred on the volunteers who run the site day to day. The city of Fremantle holds the building in trust and the volunteers take care of its day-to-day -day, um, interpretation of its history. Preferably this stakeholder engagement would have involved a series of in-depth interviews with the volunteers about their understanding and thoughts on the roundhouse. They would also be able to provide an insight into how people interact with the building and its history. They would see every day the impact that the roundhouse has on its visitors. Further, any list of stakeholders would have had to include the Fremantle Historical Society. Their research published in um, Fremantle Studies helped me immensely with this project and aided me in my research as they uncovered much of the little known history of the Roundhouse. In future, further research needs to be done into the gaps in the historical narrative, such as the relationship between this building and the indentured labourers and early prisoners. Um, as this um, history is not often reported or poorly explained. There is also little information available about what restoration has been done to the building over the course of its lifespan. Thank you very much.